Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to Crusader Kings 2 Conclave. So, uh, what we wanted to do now? Well, we're not gonna find a new kingdom. I'm going to declare this war. I wish I could do that. I cannot spy on this guy anymore. Can you pay for yourself at least? No, he doesn't even have money. Okay. Now, usually I wouldn't press the auto rouse some prisoner button, which doesn't exist for him. Because he's an important character in my plans. But I'm going to hire someone, actually. Yeah, we need to hire. Not a holy man, though a holy man will be nice. Let's ask money from the Pope. If he doesn't say yes, we're gonna invite the holy man. And... Free investiture. Best reluctance. You know what? I don't like you anymore. Um, make anti-pope. I'm not gonna create an anti-pope. As funny as that sounds, I actually... I can add money to that. Yeah, they are becoming lower. I'm not gonna give all my money for you. I don't like you at all. Even though you're my brother, and you're my best friend, apparently. Okay, let's declare this war, the Zhu War. How much money do you have? That's more than me. Okay, we're just gonna have to wait then. And, what a coincidence, my marshal just died. I mean, uh, Stuart, whatever he was. Just died. How much is your skills? Well, the only skills you were, you might have been wanted is this. Well, how come you're so great? I just don't have any more words. Let's move the capital. Okay, seven hundred. Just wait for the month to take away. Thirteen thousand. I, I don't know. This went down very quickly. Thirteen thousand. Well, you now don't have enough troops to assault this guy. Okay guys, I need you to collect money from here. Counselor? Yeah, how can we have so... S mm, we can't have any good counselors. Okay, uh, I don't know what to do. Five. Amazing! There's no one who actually likes me. My boy. Yeah, apparently he's the only one who could be a great counselor. If he's trained correctly, so let's hire someone. Promote commander. Oh yeah. A peasant. I'm pretty sure that's not the commander. Can be mistaken though. Are you married? No, you're not. You're 18 though. Let's find you a wife. Here, you can have this quick lo loss. Invite a noble to court. But seriously, guys, let's see what we have. Court. 
Oh yeah, four. Amazing. Five. Extremely weak. I don't see why we shouldn't promote commanders. Yeah, we spend all our money on that. Please tell me you got someone good. Nine. Two. Wow. Okay, you got two of them who are actually kind of decent. Yeah, decent. What did I say? Fabricate a claim here. We just have to wait a little bit. Capital County. Owner Marshal skills minus 10% because my Marshal is 8. It would have been better if you weren't crippled Craven. Fool. Oh, come on. I just want to revoke that thing. Well, we're gonna revoke it anyway once once he turns of age, and that's gonna be fine. Your father was a traitor. You did not bend the knee once you took command, so you should be considered a traitor as well. Hey guys, I have an idea. No, everyone's opposing this. Supporters, undecided. Hey, do we have an advisor actually? No, there are no advisors allowed here. You do owe me a favor though. Okay, 500, 600, that's a thousand. Yeah, we can have uh, roughly 2,000 men from this. Yeah, let's not forget... Oh, okay, I should be merciful. If you try to escape, I'm gonna try to arrest you again. Then you can try and rebel again. Come on, guys, what are you doing? Seems like you are fighting for something. Host claim. Please tell me that host claim is actually not our religion. That would be a very... No, it is, of course. With very low martial skill. Of course you'll lose. Stupid host. And... Tag him from here. I'm pretty sure we can take him down. Damn it, I just can't do it. Hey, let's invite holy people to our court. Let's say six. There. So, any awesome diplomat? Oh yeah, 13. Nice. A masterful. Any decent steward, because we definitely need a better one. 13. You should do the trick. Collect taxes in the capital. A spy master. Well, with all that done, actually, I'm wondering. Yeah, we have two supporters, two who are against it, and one who is undecided. Yeah, we're not going to change you. You love us. We can have a decent spy master here. Then, well, he is actually not that much better than this one. Competent schemer, master for administrator, master for commander. Twelve. Yeah, let's keep the masterful commander there. So why not? A positive opinion, of course. Go on. Silly. Okay, just reach 60, please. Great, how many troops do you have? 1.3 we have. Roughly the same. Yeah, we need to fill our ranks there. Let's 
country needs to be revoked. Oh, became close, but uh, yeah, that reminded me that I needed to go on a pilgrimage. Completely forgot that was actually something. I'll make uh, start making travel plans. I am actually going to go to. I'll go to one of the ancient sites, Jerusalem or Rome. There are numerous uh, different uh, holy places that you could visit on your pilgrimage, of them considered uh, most sacred by the Holy Church. Before I go though, you're going to be a regent for now. I will go to Rome. Jerusalem and Rome are two oldest. Uh, you realize Constantinople exists. Yeah, it is under orthodox control, but it still exists. What is then the holiest places of the Catholic Church? Oh, travel to the Holy Lands or travel to Rome. Hmm. I'm gonna toss a die and see what will happen. Come on. So, Rome is 4, 5, and 6. And it's 5. We're going to Rome. Ah, it's a civil war, no wonder there. Lies uh, do hurt people. The truth, I think, can handle. Uh, I can handle the truth. Ooh, phenomenal! My things are packed. Everything is in order. Soon, I'll walk the streets of Eternal City and see all its marvels. My journey begins. Hey, I have a regent. Okay, you look out uh, across the beautiful valley stretching out before you. It would be a wonderful moment if not for the fact that there should be no valley here. You are a pilgrim in an unfamiliar land and you have no idea where you are. You can become patient. If only I hadn't listened to those useless peasants that uh, gave me directions. If only I had listened to more of those peasants that gave me directions. Ah, patience doesn't give you martial scores. Oh, we don't gain patience. The journey is long and hard. Your feet are sore and your back is um, as well. Far from the castle kitchens and the food is barely edible. And on top of that, you seem to feel cold all the time. Perhaps you were not quite cut out for this pilgrimage thing. No, I'll push on. What's the chance of me getting ill? Right. Rome. You have finally arrived at Rome. As you enter the Eternal City, you are stuck by many ancient buildings and monuments that you pass by. It's truly impressive. And you try to, uh, to imagine how the Apostles felt when they first came here on their holy mission at a time when the city's power was its peak. Though large areas seem to be depopulated, the city still boosts an immersive population, concentrating around the Tiber River. The holy sites you want to visit are apparently the basilis on the Saint Peter and Saint Paul. Pretty better, Saint Peter, as well as other early churches and places connected to the Maris. You start making your way to the center of the city, hoping that you won't get lost in the traffic as the crowd starts to get uh, more dense. A thousand roads lead men forever to Rome. In truth, all roads lead away from Rome. The stories of the pilgrims all spoke how impressive this place is. Now that you can see it with your own eyes, you can only join in their praise. You are glad that you came here to one of Christian's holiest places. It was well worth the journey. Wait, that was, that's it? Coming back? Did you learn anything? Pilgrimage was a waste of time, if you will ask me. Ah, I became a pilgrim, which gives me... Things. You can finally return from your pilgrimage. It was a rewarding and interesting journey. You'd do it all again, if you could. Still, isn't uh, good to be back home? Of course it is. And my regency is over. Oh, I told you not to start drawing on the table. What's wrong with you, boy? Oh, he's a flanker. Okay. 
I have come back from the holy place and God told me that he requires your land. So I'm gonna take it. Okay, everyone, move here. Eight of August, fifth of August. You can stand down, I guess. Come on, scare away, scare away, scare him away. He's not going to be scared away, though. Yeah. Fine, uh, I'm going to set my boy. 12, 11, 11, 11. Wow, we did get some amazing commanders, I guess. Hmm, I'm not gonna risk this one, I'm afraid. Yeah, he can besiege that, I guess. I can besiege his land instead. Again, I'm going to gather my army in the center. Over here. Now, usually that can be a bad idea, but unfortunately we don't have enough uh, troops to be picky about it. Shouldn't I just simply go there? He's a flanker though. Hmm. Okay, let's actually see. 800, 700. Okay, I'm gonna have you in this flank and I'm going to have you here. Oh, they just lost a man. It's always a plus. Should we wait for them to lose a little bit more? I think we can handle it without... Waiting. Okay. I shouldn't have that many troops. We are losing more men than they are, fortunately. Yeah, see? Because he got all his men in the center, he has an advantage. This makes no sense. Though my though son is doing a great job in destroying him. That's 30% in my favor. Let's move here. Yes, we're gonna move all the troops here and I'm going to set my boy here. Ah, a large merchant caravan from distant land has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. The leader, a jovial man of massive girith, pleads with you in strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements of the night. Very well, let them in. We're gonna gain ourselves. As evening falls, the fat merchant sits upon the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories from his travels. His appetite seems irrelevable, but as you do not wish to prove a poor host, you order your servants to bring in second stirs. So, tell us about Hindustan. Yeah, because that's where he's from. Yes, it is not a joke. Ah, dawn breaks. The car prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift as thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts at the command in the foreign language and a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well, the merchant says. His loyalty to you, his new master, shall be beyond reproach. Thank you. A diplomat? Seventeen. Okay, stay here. We command the elements. We don't have a siege leader, though. I'm not gonna be in any more leads, I'm afraid. Oh, we suffered enough. How la large garrison do you have? 800 troops? 900. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm gonna take a break here next time. I hope you'll be able to Conquer that, revoke the title, revoke this title as well. When will this truth end? 93, of course. So, see you all next time. Goodbye.